Well, it's great to see you here at the DNC. It is great to be here. So much excitement and enthusiasm and unity. Well, and so the National Education Association is, I think, the largest union in the country. And so what, what does that mean? Tell me what you do for education. <laughs> so the National Education Association is three million strong. We have members in every single congressional district in this country. We are teachers and nurses and school bus drivers. We are counselors. We are retired educators. We are college students who are becoming teachers. We are paraprofessionals and food service workers. We all know what it takes for educators, all of them, to ensure that our students have what they need every day so they can learn. So how many students are there in public education in America right now, give or take? Well, we have over 50 million, and we know that 90%, 90% of those students go to public schools. And it's why we talk about how, it's, how important it is to invest in public schools. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, Donald Trump and his efforts to privatize and voucherize, well, everything, but mostly our public schools, and how that is does not make our country stronger, it makes our country weaker. It's one of the reasons why the NEA has endorsed Kamala Harris, because she understands that public schools make, uh, strong public schools make our, our country strong. And she has done everything as vice president, we know, as president, to ensure we invest in our public schools. So I've, I've talked with some people who are school choice advocates, and they, they, they say, well, they feel like the public schools don't provide the quality education that they want for their kids. How would you respond to that type of criticism? I talk about promoting public education as the foundation of our democracy. I talk about protecting public education from voucherizing it and, uh, and, and um, privatizing uh, public education, but I don't stop there. I do talk about strengthening our public schools because we know that we have never invested in our public schools the way we should. We know that we've never respected, big R respect, educators for the important work they do, whether we're talking about not paying them a salary that reflects the important work they do for our society, or whether we're talking about as professionals making the teaching and learning decisions that we know are best for our students. And so we know how important it is to have elected officials from the school board all the way up to the presidency who are making decisions that support our students and the people who are dedicated to educating them. And so what do you, speaking of that bright future, what would, would your biggest hope for America be? Oh, my biggest hope for America is that we will reclaim public education as a common good and then transform it into a racially and socially just an equitable system that prepares every student, everyone, to succeed in a diverse and interdependent world. To do that, we have to make sure that we believe in, invest in public education, that we believe in, invest in educators, that we believe in and invest in working families, that we believe and invest in our communities, that we provide the opportunity for everyone to be their authentic selves, for people to make decisions about their own bodies, that we know that our diversity in this country is unique, it is powerful, it is our strength. Thank you.